Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis and you can check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel. If you also trade on other pairs like GBP USD, Gold USD, USD JPY and others. So let's get started. So this is the four dollar chart of Euro USD in front of us right now. And as we all know that there is a huge rally on Euro USD chart day for yesterday when the ECB and the Bank of England declared that in her they, they talked about the um, likelihood increasing the interest rate by this year and there was huge rally on all the Euro pairs. Before I proceed with the chart of Euro USD, I would like to talk about the Forex sentiment meter. And you'll find the Forex sentiment meter on my website avilashajadikar.com under the forex 101 section so keep in mind my dear friends the forex sentiment meter tells you about the sentiment the positions of the retail traders only if you are looking for the positions of the institutional traders if you want to know what the institutions are doing then you need to consult the cot data commitment of traders okay this sentiment meter has been derived from the my fx book and here we can see that 78 percent retail traders are on the short side is that they have taken sell position whereas only 21% retail traders have taken buy position so right now 78% retail traders are caught in this market right now and as we all know the sad story of every market is that 90% retail traders lose money probably you have also heard the same thing and the main reason is that we retail traders fail to follow the trend of the market and see market has only one rule whether you trade on stock market forex market doesn't matter market has only one rule is follow the trend okay and we retailers fail to follow their one basic rule okay and as a result we pay the price see when market was going up market was extremely bullish we assume okay we always assume that market has reached the top and market will reverse Whenever we see market going down, going down, going down, we assume that market has reached the bottom and market will go up. So, we fail to understand the fact that if a market is going down, it means that billions of dollars selling is going on. And with our thousands of dollars, hundreds of dollars, we cannot reverse the trend of the market. Okay, after all, the institutions drive the market. Okay, so my dear friends, I will request you, okay, if you still do not follow the trend of the market, then please start following the trend of the market and protect your hard earned money. Okay. Because I was also on the same boat and I know the pain of losing the hard earned money, the pocket monies. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's talk about DXY first. Okay. And as per our expectation and hope, we can see that market has respected, DXY has respected the pattern it was following on the daily chart. I have been talking about this pattern and right now we can see that though NFP came up, but yes, the structure, the pattern on US dollar is still valid and dollar is just standing at the support on the daily chart. So there is a possibility that dollar, US dollar may try to uh, recover from the present level. Okay, and if dollar tries to recover from the present level in the coming days, then there will be some selling, some correction on the Euro USD because when dollar DXY goes up, we generally see Euro USD going down. So if the dollar tries to recover, there will be pressure on Euro USD. So let's hope for the best on uh, <laughs> Euro USD. Okay, again, I'll be coming down on Monday and we will discuss okay after the market opening as well. Okay, and this is our beloved Euro USD chart. Okay. So, first of all, I would like to talk about the resistance that we have here. Okay, we have a resistance at 1.148021.1500. This is a resistance for the market. Okay, keep in mind this is a resistance for the market. So, this is still a valid resistance. It means that number that sellers are present here and when yesterday market tried to go up and price immediately immediately reversed from here 
we got the confirmation that sellers are still present in this market and if i zoom out the chart and if i ask you what is the trend of the market then you can easily see that overall trend of the market is bearish okay so sellers are still dominate dominating the overall picture of euro usd so as a result there is a good possibility that uh, when euro usd will try to go up it will face selling pressure in this level okay and there is a possibility of market reversing from here as well if we see good recovery on the xy and um, we see dollar going so you know usd going down then yes you can take a sell position as well okay you can take a sell position as well because see um risk take follow proper risk management do not risk more than two to three percent of your trading capital and you are good to go you are good to take a sell position here okay if the dsy chart is in your favor okay and in case in case you see that uh euro usd is going down euro usd uh is unable to go up you can also take a sell position below this level see though euro usd has formed a low here okay euro usd has formed a low or uh, this candle has formed a low of 1.1412 but because of the present uh, presence of the fibonacci 23.6 percent i will suggest you not to take a short position here rather okay rather watch the market at this particular level of 1.1400 okay so first trading opportunity is if market goes up and reverses from here you can take a sell position but yes additional confirmation is essential take the confirmation from dxy and if you see good price rejection here at the top then only take a sell position my dear friend keep in mind support and resistance level are not permanent but confirmation is the most important thing that a trader can do confirmation is the insurance of traders and it's your duty to protect your capital and be a trader not a gambler a trader only trades when the opportunity and the time is right never forget so this is your first trading opportunity and the second trading opportunity is at 1.1400 level so when market will be touching or coming down to the 1.1400 level just observe the market and see okay if you see that price is uh, trying to bounce from here and dollar is also under pressure for the day trading purpose yes for day trading purpose if you see dollar is under pressure and uh, euro usd is trying to bounce from this level you can take a buy position again because this is our fibonacci 23.6 percent retracement level and here also we have seen previously market was trying to take support so more or less we can consider that yes buyers are present here okay i won't consider this as a very strong support but yes buyers are present so there is a possibility for bounce for day trading purpose but in case there is a heavy selling pressure in the market if we see that market is unable to hold the level and you know you will see point 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 going down okay market is breaking the level then you can take a sell position here as well so you have got two opportunities on 1.1400 level if market bounces take a buy if market breaks and starts going down you can also take a sell so confirmation is essential and always keep in mind you should wait you should wait watch and observe then only take a position and whatever you do follow proper risk management because see this is my analysis i can be wrong as well so be a trader okay so that's it bye bye take care see you on monday again